Hey, Sterling, good to see you again. Hey, welcome back. Okay, what are we fixing today? So today we got a Nintendo Switch with a broken charging port. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. No, it does not. Typically, charging port issues can arise if it's not sitting on the dock correctly or if it's just not charging at all. This one specifically has physical damage, so we're gonna go ahead and get it replaced. If you wanna follow me to the back? Cool, let's go. Alrighty, so first things first, now that we got the switch back here, we're going to remove the micro SD card. That way, any information stored on the device is safe from any mishaps that may occur. So we'll put that in a safe spot. And next, I'll put on my ground and wrist strap, and then we can begin. So what typically causes damage to the charging ports? Typically the most common issue that we see with these is what's known as physical abuse. So that can be messing around with the cable while it's in the port, maybe the pins break, or a little bit too assertive on the dock itself. That can also cause damage to the pins. Alternatively, you get an electrical surge due to some lightning. That can also affect the device. Could someone do this repair on their own? So this is the main board and it has the port connected to it. It has these soldering points here where, where it holds it in. This specific soldering repair, what I don't really recommend trying to do it at home is the close proximity of like your other things such as your capacitors or your other connections. If any of those connections are bridged by accident via solder or overheat, now you have a bigger issue than just the port. So what's the biggest benefit of having it repaired at a store? At our store, we do have our own soldering technicians who are trained to do these repairs. If you get them done through the store, they do come with a one-year limited warranty. Kind of have that peace of mind, go down the line if it starts acting up again. What's the most interesting device you've repaired? Some guy called early this week and asked if we could do a something I'd never heard of. And we looked it up online and it was like people are selling it on eBay for like eight, nine hundred dollars. You can play like Donkey Kong or whatever, but it was it was only in, in red and black. Was it a Nintendo Virtual Boy? Yes. The virtual boy. So now we can try and reattach. They do have to be kind of careful since most of this connection is plastic, kind of more like polymers, and you can melt it very easily. All right, now that the new port's on there correctly, the device does need some new thermal compound regardless. And so we're gonna go ahead and get that cleaned off. Well, now that we have those two components cleaned off and the charging port is securely fastened, we can start the reassembly process. What tips do you have for taking care of a Nintendo Switch? Keep it clean. If you got pets and stuff, try your best to keep it clean. Be careful when you're putting on the dock or plugging it in. Say you're, you're walking past, you bump the cable, pull it off the desk, break the screen. Just kind of very, various other accidents is mostly what the device is prone to in terms of damages. Be gentle, be cognizant around the devices and they'll last three times longer than you think they will. Alrighty, and that's how you replace the charging port on a Nintendo Switch. All it's left to do is to insert the customer's storage device and plug it in and make sure everything's good to go. Thanks, Sterling. Nice work. Visit your local You Break I Fix by Assurian store for diagnostics, repairs, and more. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more behind the scenes looks and tips about your favorite devices.